also have to chill the fuck out. Oh, you just you just have to chill, man. Oh, you get it, Renegade. This time working. Hold on. Reach is offline for me. Up oh, here we go. I might be here for a little bit. Oh boy. Yeah, cause I, I have to go to bed soon. This should be easy, anyways. All right. Uh, this is gonna be a quick run through of Planet Battle Z Dragon Ball. It's just Battle of Z. All the freaking storylines are not canon to anything in Dragon Ball Z, and I'm launching the disc. Are you ready, Renegade? Can you watch it or no? I'm um, I'm looking at. It. All right, I'm just checking so you don't have that buffering shit. All right, so we can actually get to Battle of Zed. It only took us three hours, three failed streams, and me violating terms of service 5,000 times to get here. The opening to the live-action movie, since I'm skipping it. Isn't that a toy as well? Skip it. Skip it. It's like the hot spot. Oh, by the way, I switched uh, voice actors to the Japanese voice actors. I got pissed off at the dub. Oh boy, not this. I, I'm gonna still hold by. I prefer to hear it in my native tongue, damn it. Um, how terrible is the English actors? They replaced almost the majority of the original from Dragon Ball Z and put them into Dragon Ball Z Kai. Oh. Uh -huh. Like, uh, Android 18, not the same voice actor. Android 16, not the same voice actor. Pretty much half, if even the majority of the voice actors have been replaced. All of the, uh, Cell has been repl- or not Cell, but, uh, um, Frieza has been replaced. I- I can't find myself to care unless I- until I get to the part where I can hear them. Mainly on the grounds that- I mean, when you're getting into a voice actor argument, you mu you're just kind of recreating what Spax did on YouTube. I don't know if that I what I did for terms of service, by the way. Talk about him. All right, I'll just switch it to its American voice actors. Or that wait, I get the experience. <laughs> what? Uh, I, I drive he for a minute. It's nothing. Wait, drive he because you don't want to hear the Americans. No, it's the fact that since the cast is replaced, I don't think these new guys are going to do much of a better job. I, like I said, I just can't find myself here. Alright, hopefully... Like, like I said, I evaluate it as I hear it. Hopefully when you hear it, it isn't ear ripping. Well, you're talking to the person actually like the four kids double. Alright, first I'm gonna show off my character. Now, right now, I made 850 or 60 something as my level stat level. That means nothing. It really does. Alright, we're gonna play as, uh... Now, my main character is always... Majin Vegeta, but I am not playing him because I have all character, all cards set up to 50 to 100. So what do they look like they're all made out of plasticine? I don't know. Oh, and by the way, I do have the two DLC characters and the pre-order, which I think is fucking stupid. What's the DLC okay. characters? The DLC characters are Bardock, and Super Saiyan form, and where is he? Super Saiyan Vegito, and that is it. Is that a Naruto costume? Yeah, that was that was based on like the uh, fourth Hokage right there. Yeah, and if you change his outfit styles, he actually does have the version of the fourth Hokage, or third, whatever. Uh, the yellow flash. And then I, and then you have one that looks like Gara, and then of course I changed one to be all pink because of the fact of I made me and a couple of buddies made a joke about the pink brigade. And we were just all pink, and whenever we'd play against other players, they were so confused at the fact that there were people who chose brightly colored pink outfits that they literally just were like, what the fuck? So we killed them. Oh, him. it's so fabulous. Also, I'm glad that it's not Super Saiyan Bardock. I don't, I'm still not seeing that as canon. Nope. I don't care. You don't make Lander eradicate the Super Saiyan's canon despite working on it. Nope. Then I have the right to ignore everything you do. 
All right, we're gonna play Goku. I, I go Let us see his stats. If you see a person with all these across the board 40s, these are powerful. However, 45 is the most powerful card you can get. You can get one card each of uh, 100, and that is for PP points. And PP points are acquired. Yeah, it is a card game. It has card game stat boosts in it. And by getting PP points, you have to do these. And by getting PP points, you have to use share my energy, which I can show you after I do this mission. I don't like this already. I hate card game video games. I never found them fun. I didn't like it when they put it in the game either. I fucking thought it was retarded. And there's like a majority of people online who have 100s and have broken the game. Well, I imagine you can use these cards online where broken is heaven. Yeah. Master Roshi, I stopped being useful sometime around the beginning of Dragon Ball Z. Now this is a tutorial stage. Hmm, feels like it's coming from around here. It's faint. By the way, all the storyline in this game well, is not even canon to anything Dragon Ball Z at all. All right then. I don't even have to tell you what's going on because it just tells you what you do. So if you ever see anybody play it, you can just read the dialogue and the fucking text. So you're doing things that Let's Players do to fill dead air. Yeah, I say, if you want to do it, go fucking look at it yourself. Because it's just fly around, fly around, AX, AX, for fly up, fly down, that's it. Well, that's how usually tutorials go once you master the game. Like, it becomes horribly tedious and dull. The bottom left side, or bottom right side of the screen is a radar that indicates where enemies are and it'll become your ally no matter what version of the game you're playing. Yeah, versus mode, battle mode, co-op mode. Does this also allow you to detect the, detect the Dragon Balls? Dragon Balls are not in this game except for a Dragon Ball mode and battle mode called Dragon Ball Grab. Oh, that's sad. Oh no, it's Wu Cyberman. Yeah, it's telling me Y and B are to do different things. Hold LB down to guard your block, which I never fucking knew because there's no point. You can just kick him in the head a lot. No, I just beat the living fuck out of him and it's easy to kill him. Well, they are Cybermen. And I just did I mean, Kaoken. So yeah. I just use Kaoken against you guys, which you know, Raditz can kick your ass. So Kaoken against you, yep. I just did it, cuz. All right. So this is what is called an SP move. There is two different things of using SP move. There is rate of the SP move is used as your energy blast, which is Y and B. Now you can use Y and B when somebody else uses Y and B and it will automatically deny their energy blast like I just did so it would be like zero damage on me, zero damage on you. I get close range and beat the living fuck out of you for trying to do that to me. And normally 95% of the people online have never figured this out yet. Uh, I guess that makes sense and why they wouldn't figure it out but I'm just assuming brain damage. Pretty much is what it is. Because, I mean, the show itself makes a big deal on how you can cancel some moves. The latest game that's coming out is going to be much more interesting than this one right now. Yeah, this just seems kind of dull and clunky. Because they got four different finishing moves, an ultimate finishing move they have set for everybody. The ultimate finishing move turns out to be the same thing for everyone. It's the self-destruct move that Chao Tzu uses. You weren't as good as you said you were. <sighs> Why does everything look like it's made out of plastic? That's how they made this open world environment. It actually is way better than the other versions, sadly. Anyway, mission failed, so let's go on to the next one. 
All right, now I'm gonna pick somebody and I'm gonna pick a mission. Oh, not that one. Well, this will be interesting regardless because I'm not gonna see it until the future. I'm like the opposite of Bardock. I cannot see the present, only the future. All right, I'm just gonna wait till you guys get to this no, point. No, not the future, the past. I'm dumb. The Kadassin sucked out my brain before I killed him. Now, pretty much, number one, stage uh, stage one tells you the tutorial how to move, how to fight, how to use all your abilities, which is kind of like the fucking easy version of playing Dragon Ball Z compared to all the other Dragon Ball Z games. And number three is going to tell you the adaptation of partnering skills, helping you to revive your buddies and everything like that, which I'm going to play next. Is, now, is the ripe of revival system you just pick them up like you do in most shooters? Uh, you fly at him and just punch him and it revives him instantly. That's how it so, works. So you kick them healthier. It's like Sanji's red light technique. Yeah. Jeez, this is so genius. And, um, now as you know, your character has a stat of, like, three numbers and the max number is 999. Your CPU characters only have a number of 1 through 10. 1 oh, being... So dead useless. They're useless, but it's like this. They're, it's pretty much their IQ of intelligence is number one level means they will never listen to you. Number five level means they'll listen to you short uh, most of the time. Number ten level means they'll help you mostly every freaking battle, but they are not to be relied on throughout the whole mission mode of every stage. Why would you rely on them if you're literally like a thousand times more better than and as you can see in stage three, the NPC characters that are being picked are Krillin, Tien, and Yamcha. Even though they don't have the uh, older version of Yamcha, which is sad. And um, they so they're gonna all get killed by Nappa. That's what my prediction is. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. But it's weird in this game. And what happens hey, is hey, did you see what I did, Vegeta? I killed all of them. And what it is is every like, I'll just launch the game and show you the tactics of what commands can do. You have your both. You have your D-pad button and your knobsticks. I don't know if the uh, PlayStation does not have this, if I remember correctly, or they do, and I'm being an idiot and derping out. Well, my prediction is this is the strategy you use. For them. You have them run forward to take bullets to the face as you kick the shit out of the weeping Go. face of the main bad guy. There may be more than one enemy. We'll start your training. Is that a good strategy or no? To have everybody just beat the shit out of them? No. Never. Oh, no, no, you send them in as bullet shields as you stomp the face of the baddest motherfucker. Except this doesn't work this way. Oh, so this game has some level of quality. I was Now note that I'm fighting against three players. This was where they this is where they teach you that you can do four on four versus in online mode and play with four friends in uh mission mode. Oh by the way, here's the thing. Those three piccolo should be only a third as strong as piccolo. They are, but you're playing as uh Kid Gohan, so he's pretty damn weak. Mm, not when you piss him off. And this is where canon breaks law physics. Oh, here we go. This is going to be fun. Hey. You know, all I'm envisioning from this is DODGE! Aren't you being a little harsh, Mr. Piccolo? I'll help. Come on, Piccolo. We're a lot better than you. Oh, no. Fuck. I, I mean, I know I'm delayed, but I see it, and it's amazing. <laughs> Alright, let's get Krillin to... Nope. Well, looks like... Looks like Kid Gohan's gonna be fucking useless in the fight against Nappa and Vegeta. Now I'm doing Chase right here. Which, if your buddies all lock onto, they'll knock him around. But they didn't. Because they're only level 1? No, they're level 10. They're just fucking retarded. Or they're busy fighting them. They're fighting them as well. Like, they could fight the same one you do, they could fight different ones, and oh, so I'm... The AI is in progress. 
I just told one to go full power. Are you trying to chip damage on him? Oh. This is where you spare some energy at someone. You press your... One of your... Your, um... I'll just say, uh... Right thumb stick in, and it'll log on to one of your characters. Oh, so now... Key blast at them. You press B and it'll give them a key of energy like this. So basically, you hit them with energy to make them suck less. It gives them more power energy so they could either do a finisher, heal, or use a yeah ultimate finisher or heal or and it's for support. So basically, this is the only way Gohan could be useful. So any anyway, any person can be this way. Themselves. The Saiyans are just kind of busy chilling on that planet full of blood men. This is where it teaches you the support of reviving. You revive Chian Yamcha by pressing just Y or B, or just Y. I said. Now, as you see right now, Krillin is using his special one of his special moves that's actually his best compared to his Destructo Disc. Which is heal all enemy, heal all partners. Wait, Destructo just heals everyone? No. There's actually an energy ball he throws up in the air that's green. And it heals all of us at once. His Destructo Disc is his finisher, and it is garbage. Well, canonically, he was never really able to get a good hit. Like, the most he would usually do is slightly injure the person. Uh, in fact, actually, I think the most he ever did was, like, damage Frieza with it. A bit. Top his tail off a bit. I didn't know Piccolo was a breakdancer. Basically, by telling you how to revive people, throw energy at, at your friends to give them HP, you could pretty much mean that you could either be a brawler and beat the shit out of them, or be a supporter type while playing online mode. Uh, I, I thought it was pretty fitting that they chose Yamcha to be the one that got knocked the fuck out. You know, because he's the one that's usually pumping on the ground as a dead carcass. Oh. Here's Meteor Chain time. I see in the past. I have the opposite of the Kanasan ability to see in the future. Oh. That was oh. almost interesting. Oh, there we go. There we go. That felt like the show for a bit. Actually, if it wanted to fully recreate the show, what they would have done is they would have had like a plan last for like five minutes and then they would charge up for their badass technique that they would use to sidetrack the bad guy. I was waiting for him to use his special beam cannon and deny it, but he didn't do it. He has to stand still for five minutes to use it. No, not in this game. Instantly. I know, I'm just fucking around. I say that I could have taken care of it myself, but this is all because of you. Thanks. Oh man. So I guess Piccolo's gonna stay evil then. Bye bye storyline, you will be missed. Unless it involves stuff I don't Give like, in which energy. case you can go to Now this is where you know who didn't figure out this. Oh that guy from Connecticut, now Washington. Yeah. This is called sharing your energy, and what you do is you use Key Blast or Energy Balls to raise this thing up. The number of count is at zero right now, as you can plainly see right there at the zero button, very little. It only goes up to 100, and that's what gives you PP points to give you extremely rare cards, very powerful weapons, body armor, reduced damage, the works. So, ergo, he had a bad freaking time. Oh, 
So he didn't pick up that there was a button that literally, like right in front of the screen, told you to share energy. No, actually, there it's in certain stages that gives you share energy. Depending on what stage you're at, it gives you a higher uh, PP. Like it shows right here for mine right now, it says PP gained 670. Well, regardless, the fact that he didn't catch that when he saw a big glowing thingy that tells you this shit does tell you a bit. Because I'll go to the shop right now and show you what the PP money does. Now, right now, the weeklies are like ultimate body, which is defense greatly increased. Um, extreme regeneration, HP energy recovers over time. HP boost, maximum health. I always like regening stuff because I play a lot of Call of Duty. So. Now, what happens is every week it's weekly rotated and these three top cards, which are the most powerful cards in the game, are replaced with just as equivalent replaced uh, powerful cards. The other cards are not that important compared to these three with the PP money. Oh, so basically, you want to save your money to buy the broken cards. Got Pretty it. much. And there's an 100 card, however, you can only buy one. Ever. Uh, of, of each category? Of each category of the card. That's the reason why you uh, I say that the game is broken in some mechanics, because there's people that have 100 cards like this, with health energy, all the way across the board. You're not allowed to have that. Oh, so people abuse the system of the game because of the fact that they are autistic and, you know... Screw playing fair, fuck that shit. I want to actually do some bad things, like, you know, beat the shit out of any scrub that didn't have to cheat at the game to get this stuff. I'm a good human being. Look at my splendid grandeur. Now, what I've just bought right now is the ultimate jewel, and the ultimate jewel lets me do finishers. Uh, like what you could do previously, or is it different? It is different, and I'm about to go into my player log, and I'm going to try to find a mission that I have not Z-ranked. Son of Goku appears. Alright. Son Goku, where is he? Son Goku? I don't know where he is. Maybe he's at Mount Payasu eating a lot of food. Alright. Now I'm about to show you how good I am at this game. Well, it's worth to show how to actually do a mission. Now, let's see. Which healer do I want that's gonna be really fucking weak? Sure, why not? Let's have Krillin with me. And, um... Uh, oh, you can play a lot of dudes. There's over 65 playable characters. And norm that's actually kind of cool. And half of them are pretty much transformation types. I'm not shocked. There's a lot of transformation types. Oh, hey, Ginyu Force. What's up? All right. I'm going to have her instead of Krillin. Goodbye, Krillin. And I'm going to... Um, you know what? I'm going to have Krillin in there. And I'm going to set something up. Uh, planning. Take this. It's kind of amusing you're having a team of the most... Uh, a rather strange combination. I'm just saying, it's really strange to see this happen. Like, I'm just envisioning this happening in, like, the world's weirdest fan fiction. Oh. Okay. And let's see, you got Vegeta. You got Goldo, you got Android 18. Yeah, I didn't see your place grilling with. Where's Ultimate Defense? Oh, ultimate Defense? I don't know. I think you lost it in your other pants. There it is. Ultimate Guard. Was that Android 16? Yeah. He's the prince of all saints. Apparently Android's right now. 
All right, I'm going to remove this, 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 this. I can make a lot of jokes about how what you're removing could be clothing, but I don't know whether or not that would get you in trouble with the FCC. Hey, you have an entire stack of broken cards, too. No, these are all regular cards. These aren't broken. Oh, I can't tell. It's uh, 50s and 100. You can get 50s across the board, and you still wouldn't be able to beat the final mission. Oh. Oh, you'd need a 100 to beat the final mission? No, not even. You'd need 100 across the board, and... Um, two tree of mites just to be able to kill everybody in one shot There's a difference between killing everyone in one shot and winning the mission uh, The final mission you have to pull fight against all 65 players in one round How long does a round last I played with the buddies with all of our characters maxed out and it took us two and a half hours And that's without cheats, because we don't like that. That just seems kind of painful. Alright, I'm going to put uh, 15 cards across the board. Actually, that fight is ready to F for fuck everything. Yeah, we're just kitting out Vegeta to do his vegeta thing, which in being the prince of all Saiyans. I wonder if Vegeta's getting haunted by the ghost of Nappa, telling him stupid stories. What can I say? I like DBZ abridged. Ah, Goldo, the ability to stop time. He has it in this game, too. Well, if he didn't have it, then that'd just be insane. Right now, I'm trying to nerf him down so I can do my finisher. Oh, so it's like, okay, I don't want him to win too quickly. No, I don't want my characters to kill fucking the final boss really quickly. Or the boss character I'm fighting. That's what I mean. You don't want it to win too quickly. Yeah, because if... Alright. I'm going to start the mission, and I'm about to use an ultimate finisher. This is going to be interesting. And I'm probably going to do demand all my people to uh, actually go into um, defensive heal mode. Oh, so basically just tell them, shit here, I got this. Well, this is going to be interesting. Well, Goku's angry. I don't know what about. Looks like you had it your way while I was gone. <laughs> That's a pretty yourself. messed up team. And right now, Goku is in infinite Kaokin mode. In this game, yes. Why is he angry? I mean, I'm assuming it's because he didn't get his favorite dinner. But, I mean, you know. Oh, why not? He's just kind of dancing around the place. Alright, I'll show you. Here's a Kaioken times two! Quick, punch the hell out of Goku's stupid and smiling face. Take advantage of his mercy. Oh, is that KO Ken time? Quick, get him to KO Ken as high as possible so that he has a spontaneous heart attack. He's already at times three already. Get him to times four. Yeah, I can already tell this that my characters are really overpowered. Oh, cause Goku's getting his Yeah, cause he's at half health already. I don't even have to do a damn thing. It's like, oh, 
Here we go. How did he survive that? Wait, are you fucking healing him so that he doesn't die as fast? No. I'm demanding all my teammates to go into defensive mode. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, the tower being kind of, like, the video's a bit small. Targeting is a little frenetic. Body don't feel Well, let's see if we can actually manage to get him to die in an ultimate finisher. Alright, this is where you have to fight Krillin and... I... Fight Krillin too? Why are these people mad? Wait, so Krillin's fighting Krillin. I actually finished off Goku in one shot. Well, here's my question. You fought, like, you have Krillin on your team and you're fighting Krillin? Yeah. It's, it's evil Krillin from Dimension Q. There we go. No, 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 you know what's really funny? How about four Krillins versus Brawly? If you get enough Krillins in a room, you'll eventually beat Brawly. It only takes... It only takes... <laughs> Horrible casualty rate to beat him. I mean, if you get enough monkeys in a room, get enough monkeys in a room to type up the works of Shakespeare, they'll do it. Same with Krillin, you get enough of him to fight Broly, he'll eventually win. Well, I guess uh, I guess Vegeta's about to wipe out the Sun line. On, one more. That one more. Beat the crap out of that child. Ruin his fucking life. Forever. I think you ruined his life pretty good there. Well, Baldi, it's your turn to get your butt kicked. Your hands. I guess you probably should have stayed a monk at your temple, huh? Bye-bye. Yeah, that's the case of bye-bye. Is that what a finisher is, by the way? Dang it. I forgot to use it. I forgot how to use the finisher. Is he dead or something? Yeah, he died. I accidentally didn't. I, for, I, I had the ability to use it, and I forgot how to use it. <laughs> Alright. You accidentally won. Yeah, I accidentally won without wanting to. So, I have to redo it. <laughs> No, I can't see it without doing an ultimate finisher. Oh, and you haven't done that? Nope. Okay, um, first I gotta set the setting to this again. And. Oh, boy. Well, time to reset everything. So, do the cards get used uh, instantly or. If you if they're equipped like uh how um like uh the two bottom cards that are for the green row are not actually um they're pretty much like body armor defense armor the works the purple item is a uh, item that you would use and normally people would use a sensu bean there instead of the ultimate jewel so the other shit 
is it, it, it stays with you. You don't have to keep buying them. Yeah. That's good. However, so kind of a head scratcher on why this is a card game, though. I don't know. I really don't know. Budokai had it better situated. Oh, Krillin, you had to fight yourself if you won against yourself. That means you technically lost against yourself. I wonder if Krillin just regretted everything about his life at the moment he beat his own ass. First, I'm going to have to remember how to do that. What, finisher? Yeah, I'm going to look at the card right now. Yeah, that'd be a good idea because, I mean, if we mess it up too many times, I'm going to collapse on the spot and die. I'm going to sleep. Whatever. Isn't it the other buttons? Hey, you can always button mash until you pull a finisher out of nowhere. <sighs> I'm just going to do that, actually. <laughs> it's the tried and true method. At least that way you, you know you can press some buttons. And thus, there would be nothing that you can do. Well, anyway, let's kick the crap out of Goku who's gone from a Hulk mode again. And Goku's already at like half health, I think. Oh no, he's not paying attention. He's probably getting his like, crap, you know, kicked in. Moves up oh, I didn't know this stuff was timed. Here's a Kaioken times two! You can do every cent of second. Oh, then you get it. Nice, gotta max off that one. Nice, another max. Oh boy. Oh, you have to get the uh, you have to get the orange bar up to use the finisher. Yep. I was just wondering, which I don't know anything about. So I'm making them both look more educational and myself stupid. Krillin is dead. Krillin always dies. I mean, there's a point, there's a reason why there's a Krillin own encounter in the Brick series. There it is! Oh. Alright, now I have to do is charge this up with B. Yes. And they have to protect me while I'm doing this. Oh, so you have to, pr uh, it's B and you protect me. I have to have my teammates protect me while I'm doing this or I'll die. Like, see how Goku's trying to hurt me? I could easily die if it wasn't for the fact I'm max HP right now. Your key energy has to be refilled. Yeah. Your HP and <laughs> done. <laughs> Finished. Oh, it's it's kind of hilarious that you're just kind of standing there charging, taking all the abuse. And Goku's just like... Eh, 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 eh. If it was at a higher level, I wouldn't be able to do it. I'd die instantly right there. And mission complete. Yay! Z, Z rank. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, you killed the shit out of Goku. I wonder if Vegeta feels better about, you know, like his whole Saiyan pride thing now that he kicked the crap out of Vegeta's face. And there's only like 15 people that can do that, and it's like you get three jewels per day to buy. And that is an ultimate finisher, and. 
that is pretty much DBZ in a nutshell. There's support class, fighting class, uh, key blaster class, and Super Vegito is a key blasting cla class. Majin Vegito, the one I play is, is a brawler class, and um, there are different classes that do different things, like uh, Krillin is a support type, Android, 7, uh, Android 18 is a support type, um, I could actually name off every character that is a support type right now, actually. Uh, it, uh, based on what I'm getting from this game, it seems limited. Yes, it is. Sadly. With, like, the amusement that you can get out of it. Um, like, I mean, I like the character setup where you can play pretty much everyone you goddamn want, but... Yeah, and you don't have to, uh, they, they put in the form, they put in the thing of, oh, we don't want to use, let your character go through the transformation forms like in the Budokai series. So they're like, we're going to just let you play all different classes, and all different classes have different things. And it's like, well, all different classes have that, why can't they just go into that form at will? And they're like, well, we don't want to do it this way. The next game they released, they announced they were going to put it in form classes again where your character can go Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, and all that stuff by just picking one character. Oh, that works. Yeah, because it originally was that, and they thought uh, they thought with this game, why not do it differently? They noticed well, that's that... that's just one minor mechanic. It just, like, the way it moves, the way it fights just seems clunky. It, uh, what it was, was the open world environment looks good. It really does, but there... Yeah, it looks plasticky to me. It's better than a shrunken down world because in Raging Blast and all the Raging Blast games and apparently Ultimate Tenkaichi, the world was actually much smaller than this. Like, you couldn't... Well, just a tiny arena? Yeah, it's a t smaller arena area, space that you can play in every single area. Like, this is just a big open world environment area of it, and it... They're, they're going in the right st direction with the background settings, the fighting settings, but they, their graphics department and their um, gameplay style for this game are kind of crap because only 15 people can do finishers. Come on. I will say this, though. I am sad as hell that there is not a driving lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be able to be Piccolo and fucking run with Goku off the road, damn it. Now, um, Renegade, do you have any questions about it? Renegade, do you exist? Maybe Renegade's a figment of our imagination. Like he's an imaginary friend that we both hallucinate? Probably. And I'll probably save this one so you guys can download it and use it for whatever you want. And hey, I learned my lesson and did not say any <laughs> evil things. I think. I don't know. I don't pay attention to what I say. Alright, um, I'm going to show you one other thing. And that is... Now I'm going to get really fucking wrecked too. I'm, I'm not kidding. Now everybody has their own character that they play as. Originally, I p played for favorites in uh, Battle OZ and wanted to play Future Trunks because they did not have Tapion from Wrath of the Dragon, who's my favorite Dragon Ball Z character, so I played him. Found out that he was garbage, and I played Majin Vegeta. So now... So, the balancing in this game is kind of... No, it's what? dependent on who you are and how you want to play style is what it is. It's like I thought I could play as uh, um, as uh, Future Trunks, and I thought, oh, this would be a great character to play as. I found out as I got further and further into the game, he's not as great of a character for me to play as as I thought. Is now, because he's uh, like a support type or something? Uh, he's a dash fighter. It's tricky with him. Oh. It's um, it's a certain kind of. It, he's a melee brawler like like Vegeta, but his damage comes more with uh his dashing attacks than it does with his regular attacks that I've noticed. And there's not that many oh, classes. So you can have do to that. actually pay attention and know how to time. Yeah. All right then. And um, when it came with Vegeta, it was like beat the shit out of him. That's all you need to do. Now there was somebody who I fought in battle mode. Who whooped my ass? Who was a Yamcha? And I'm not even kidding. It was brutal. 
what he would do was he has a finisher. He has a uh, not a finisher, but a special move that makes everybody look at him, and it is not fun. It's like you could be locking on another one of your one of his opponents. He'll use his finisher, and it makes everybody look at him. Or, it's, and it's kind of funny, but it's not funny when you have an opponent right next to you kicking you while you're looking at him, and it lasts for about 15 seconds. He took a level in baseball. All right. Also, he took the level in being a horrible boyfriend. All right, I'm gonna find one. And oh, looks like there actually is people playing this game, and I will join it. And I'm well, going to get my ass kicked. Prepare for pain. Prepare for never-ending torment. Now it looks like they're playing a match, so we might have to wait. Sadly. But while we're doing that, let's customize our shit. Oh no, that means I might have to do my taxes. Because I have to do something. So, you know, waiting. Oh, this is going to be painful. For both of us, I believe. Pretty much. Now these Mainly are because I feel sympathetic pain from video game characters because I'm not necessarily right. Now there are some item characters char uh, characters in this game that you only get one of, and they're really really powerful, but you don't want to waste them unless you really feel like you want to waste them to go all out. Like there is so basically unless you you're sure you can win and you need it didn't use it yeah because it's hard as hell to get them back like uh the tree of might fruits you can only get three per day and what it does is it doubles what you are because right now i am at um probably one tenth of the level there because they abuse everything um what happens i think it's at like i believe it's i'm gonna unequip these and i'm going to requip back what i had it on Level up max, and where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. Really good card. Warrior race boot blood. Basically, every character knocked down in the game doubles my attack and key power. Uh, Very good. Considering you're supposed to be what, like ten, le like a thousand levels below them because they rig the game. There are not that many people who do it, but when you, you'll know who they are when they come in the game. And um, I'm going to put on. I could do this and put on a tree of might and my uh, power level just from 1,700 to 3,830 by just putting one tree of might fruit Wait, on. That's your power level really? Right now, yeah. However... Uh, you're barely as strong as King Kai with the tree of might. Um, your power level in this game is not measured by Dragon Ball Z. It is measured by this game Max Max power is 9999. That is it. That's pretty low. I mean, that's not even like King Vegeta and Bardock level before he got warped in time and that non-canon monstrosity that somehow They made. don't do power levels like they do from Dragon Ball Z Dragon I Ball. Wish they did. That actually would be cool if they did. There is a Dragon Ball MMO app that's going to do that though. I am monthly payment? Nope. Free to play. I am intrigued. I'm However, you cannot play any of the Dragon Ball Z characters. It's an MMO, so it's your own created style character. Oh, I don't give a crap. It was actually, it was like, made in China, and a corporation decided they would buy it out, and they've been translating it in every single country. So they, they've been working on it for a year and a half, and they stated they're not even close to being done because of so much content that was put in the game. And that sounds actually pretty good. And sadly, they had to remove one character out of the game for copyright reasons of Dragon Ball, be even though they got the approval of it, and that was the Eternal Dragon. Oh, so they couldn't have Shenron? Nope. Oh, well. And right now, I have just equipped a Sinsu Bean. A Sinsu Bean basically means if I fall down a battle and lose all my health instead of being revived, I instantly revive and have full max health again because of the Sinsu Bean. Ah, uh, Sensu Beans. They're the best way to give the finger to damage. 
Now, right now, you can see it's a three-on-three -three versus battle right now. Oh, dear. They have no Oh, wait, healer. so you might not get as squashed as you think. I see that they have Team Gohan, who's a, a fighter healer type. Almost every version of Gohan, and I am not kidding you, has healing abilities. Eh, that's not shocking. Chi Chi forced him to be smart. So, um... Right now, it's a three-on-three -three versus, cause, so you can kind of figure out what is going on here in Dragon Ball Battle of Z. But, it can so go is up... It, is it a lot of waiting until they're done and then getting stomped on by people that actually spend even more time on the game? Yeah, but there's not that many people playing it. They're actually waiting for the next game to come out because it's, it's supposed to be like Raging Blast, apparently, but... It's going to have this kind of mechanic style as well input into it where you can do four on four versus and four player co-op if you so want it. So they're putting everything from Raging Blast and Tinkaichi into this into the next game from what I've heard. And there's very little talked about it but it's supposed to be released this year or next year on 360, PS3, PS4, and Xbox One. I'm more interested in the MMO. That probably would not be coming out for a couple more years. Really? Yeah. yeah. You know, the sad thing is I'd probably still have more fun with it than the game that they're waiting for. There's two things they have. Now, the storyline was made by Akira, uh, Akira Toriyama, which is funny. One of the storyline arcs, uh, storyline backstories is probably the most fucked up thing ever. Majin Buu made a girl version of himself, and they reproduced. Oh, wait. So the so the depictions of a female Buu that I've seen on the internet are real? Yes, yeah, sadly. The one with hair? No, there is no hair. Oh, alright. Uh, what happens is there actually is a race of Majin Buu, and what happens is uh, they look like Majin Buu, except there's different variations of him. There's like a chubby version, a skinny version, and all, almost every, now there's two versions, uh, they have human version, Namekian version, or Namekian race, human race, and I forget what, what kind of, what Majin Buu's race is called exactly. Well, and, it's not really a race, he was a construct devised by an evil wizard. And that is about it, um, almost every Wait, single last so human. So you can only be three races in the MMO? Yeah. Disappointed. And, um, you can, um, because, uh, basically how they've done it with the MMO is, uh, you can actually, by being a human race, you can also be, uh, a Saiyan race in it. That's still only for humps. <laughs> what are you wanting to be, an android? No. What? I wanted to be one of the stupid goons that Frieza has in this planet trade organization. I don't know, maybe you can do alternate skins for all I know. I don't... Like, that was the MMO that they got it from. They could actually advance it and be something else, but... I know that everything takes place on Earth. Almost everything. Now, there are... Okay, I'm not interested in the MMO anymore. <laughs> just now, because it's so... Darn it. <laughs> it's not racist! You're talking to the person who, when the moment they got a tabletop game, I was like, okay, what monsters can I play in the book of monsters as playable characters? <laughs> I, I, like, I like choice, Darkie. I like choice, Darkie. That's why I'm not as much of a fan of Rise of Legends as I am Rise of Nations. You only get three nations to mess with, even though they're diverse. I'll be right back. Alright, so to the everyone that's all of us that are watching this, I guess I'm going to entertain you. What am I going to talk about? Well, I can't talk about uh, some of the stuff I've previously talked about that you'll never see in the light of day. So, hmm, what can I talk about? Hmm. Oh, I can talk about this pineapple soda that I have right here. I don't know if this is something that could get you guys in trouble and, you know, cast her in trouble, but I don't think pineapple soda is bad. Oh, wait, no, no. I have another one. I have another one. I found this, uh, I don't know if this is bad. I found this toy basement 
and it is the uh, it's one of the old toys that eventually became part of the Transformers line. It transforms into a train. I'm not necessarily sure if it's Die Clone or the other one. I don't know which one's which. I'm assuming this one is the model that either protected you. Maybe I don't know. What? I just know that it was made in Japan. Oh, you're back. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, I was just I was just filling in dead air while you were gone. You don't have to if you don't want to. Well, I I, I kind of like to do that because I'm still here. So. Sub Jamie, I see you in the chat. I only see three people. Oh, good, he's back. Uh, there we go. Now you're gonna so probably see an interesting battle. Oh dear. Are we still waiting for people? There you oh, go. hello. Wow. All right, so we got one, two, two level ninety nines playing on my side. So, are we going to win now? I have no idea. But by looking on the other side, possibly. And so, we have you playing as Majin Vegeta. We got future, future Trunks. So future, future Trunks. Yeah, that's Future Trunks. I could tell by pictures. Well, I can't. It's 360p, man. And even 480 wouldn't help. Tiny screen. We got a kid, Trunks. <laughs> go team, go team for Jeter. <laughs> All you need is another tr version of Trunks in your set. <laughs> Vegeta's having the best Father's Day out scenario with his sons. All five of them. <laughs> Each from a different timeline and dimension. Yeah, apparently the next game. Oh, see how those two guys picked a character? We're not allowed to see them until after the match starts. Alright then, so we're going to get shocked when they choose characters that are... Uh, yeah. I've actually played Battle Mode once and played Goldor and nobody could beat me. Played who? Goldor. Oh, or Goldo. Goldo, yeah. I played him. Everybody got pissed off because I was only using one move and I had automatic self-defense. Which made them freeze in time so they could get their asses kicked. Ah, uh, playing fair. What's that? <laughs> That's what I was doing. I was like wrecking them. I made the whole team on the opposite team leave the game. <laughs> I don't know what the other uh, the other fellas are doing. I think they're waiting for a buddy. They it looks like two of them, probably three of them, all have mics, but I'm not going to listen to their conversation. Oh, I don't even hear what they're hearing, so it's all right. That's because I'm in this right now. I'm in. Uh, oh, oh, never mind. On the bright side, at least we're not cursing them out like sailors. There we go. I'm in my own private party. I do this from from almost every online game I'm in because I don't want to hear it. I do not want to hear kids and people yell and scream and holler at the top of their lungs to each other. Yeah, usually whenever I hear a person, I just hear, <laughs> Hey, how's it going? It's either pure nose or 12. Those are the two voices I'm used to when dealing with people I don't know online. I screwed with everybody in war for Cybertron was first out. I was like the fucking asshole that'd be like, Nyaah! and just beat the living fuck out of him. <laughs> oh, in Left 4 Dead 2, I have this habit of talking like this and saying insane things like I always do with my mouth face. I did a scenario where I kept doing a freaking voice impression of one of the Autobots or Decepticons. And I'd oh, be like... Much. With a Decepticon, I'd be like, Yeah, let's do this, motherfucker! Decepticons annihilate whoop the ass! <laughs> I don't know... I don't know who that was supposed to be, but... No right. one. It's supposed to be no one. It's just an impersonation of anything I want. Pretend to be a Decepticon or an Autobot. Oh, so... 
Kind of like how whenever I play Left 4 Dead 2, I always play an insane survivor. And I always talk like this. I'd always play Bill and be the insane kooky guy like that one guy you'd see like, <laughs> You know that guy? Alright. <laughs> That one guy that you'd always have cartoons and stuff that was always those old people with really screwed up, like being in garbage cans and stuff and scared the fuck out of you would be really nice but it's creepy at the same time. Yeah, like I, like I said, I usually would say really dumb, insane things. Usually self deprecating. Like I'd be like, alright, guy, here we go. Better shock. I remember when uh, Left 4 Dead 1 came out, I fucking in the first area stage gunned it through the whole level without my team and they all died by a tank. <laughs> eh, that's not a good strategy anyway, you usually get pounced on by a hunter. Yeah, usually, but this is what it was. A kid who was 12 years old was telling us what to do. Nope. <laughs> nope. By a person in middle school. Yeah, I was like, nope. And the other team was listening to him. Oh, hey, look at there. Look what we got. We got. Uh, let me think. What was the worst case of team failure? Oh, yeah. I was in a team of total clown shoes once where one guy kept on leaping ahead. The other person had a tendency to friendly fire everything. Like, literally half the team was useless. And I, it's really bad because I'm not even that great at the game. Oh, hey. Oh, hi, Corin. What's going on? We're going to see a game now. Yep. Sadly, uh, somebody picked fucking Sage Goku, which is a garbage character to begin with. Oh, he ruined the theme of Team Trunks. I am disappointed. Alright, where are you? Information. This game is about self destruction. Alright, let's see who we go. Team, go on down. Alright. Setup that's commonly used by using players. Android, uh, Android 19 down. Oh, the, oh, that guy. I haven't seen him since Vegeta ripped his arms out and killed him. This is a pretty quick game. Team Gohan down again. These are NPC characters we're killing off more than anything else. Oh, wait, so they're not even real people. They're j yeah, pretty much, and I'm kicking their ass. Wait, these are, these are like robots that they have programmed to actually play the game? Alright, now we're fighting a real person online, and all he's doing is blocking. <laughs> well, there was nothing he could do. I ran out of energy, goddammit. On the bright side, you wiped out half the team pretty no, they keep reviving. It's a point system game. I mean, tell me, would that be unfair if you just killed two teammates off and there'd be only two left against four? Uh, well, if you played ST Gundam, which is a free to play MMO, yep, that's exactly what would happen. That's why I stopped playing that game. Because if, whenever you went to the player, that would happen. Really, depending on the model of mech you get, usually only one to two shots. And after that, you set out the rest of the ground. It was not fun. He dead. So, I'm getting the impression that this team is just really getting its butt whooped. Pretty bad, too, yeah. Did anyone on your team die yet? Nope. Because it's at zero points. Quality. Absolute quality. Guaranteed. Nintendo seal of But yeah, just think of, just look at this. It's like four and four. If you had people playing against you instead of blocking and stuff. Oh, denied it. See, I just denied this Kamehameha wave. Oh, as a side note, I think they finally killed one of you. Yeah, I see that. What? He said, man, 
this is frenetic. Yeah, but could you imagine if all people were playing the same like this? The movement doesn't really feel natural, you know what I mean? Like, it's, pa it's paced pretty well, but it feels a bit weird. Battle of, you know, Battle of Thieves kind of feels like it moves weird, like it's not properly designed and finished. Yeah, one of these, uh, they actually have it set with uh, their latest game to be better than this, but I wonder if they'll do four-player co-op, like, uh, four-on-four four versus and four-player co-op in it. Here's my thing. This is assuming that it will be good. It might not necessarily be good. It might be like... Rejected his finisher again. Brilliant. Not a lot of people know of it. And I just broke it again. Well, there's only five people in the chat, so only five people are going to know about it. Actually, six now. And I think three of them are us. So, yeah. This will be a lost art. Just like the lost art of Damascus Steel. End of comedy. Got wrecked again, buddy. Quality. Nope. Oh, he so, finally got me. They don't really have, seem to have an ability to, you know, notice that what they're doing is kind of not smart. Well, they got two NPC characters, so they're probably screwed anyways. Oh, and if, wait, so that's why they're doing so bad? Probably, yeah. So, half the team is pure AI. Yep. And the AI is trash, so... Yo, know, this is nope. hard to prepare. You ain't getting me, dummy. It's kind of funny that you haven't yet died. I've gotten, I've gotten killed. This game? I mean this match? Like it has some broken mechanics. Nope. Oh, he got me. It took him a while. Although this does mean that you've lost your sense of being. It did take him a while to get you, buddy. So, I don't know if the score is supposed to be like 10 times the amount for one side or not. I don't know. Now, there are three things that are bad about this game. The one is you just saw where I could do an energy wave and they can do an energy wave and it doesn't do a fight with battle. And that's one of the wor that's one of the bad things. The other thing is, if a first, if an enemy falls on the ground and when they try to get back up, you cannot use anything to hurt them while they're down like that. Oh, so like they have invincibility frames. Yeah. What's the third thing? When a unison attack goes off on someone, you cannot use your finisher while they're in the middle of it to damage them. It does nothing to them. Oh, this that's ex exactly another weakness of that SD gun that you mentioned. Um, uh, if you use certain maneuvers in your mech, you cannot get hurt for like 0.5 of a femtosecond, so... Uh, people who play the game a lot usually from South Korea before the game fails abuses that quite a bit. I think, uh... Goku Naruto is probably my most hated character in this whole game. Is it because he's related to Naruto? No, he has motto, mottos that are from... He has uh, voice impressions from Nar that sound from Naruto. Oh, uh, so he says, fucking believe it? Yeah, he does say it in uh, Goku's voice. He also says, uh, I'm going to try to be the next Tokage, and I... That, no, 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 that's not horrible. That's amazing. 
He also does a Kamehameha move where he does a ninjutsu hand side before he does it. <laughs> no, that's beautiful. I don't know why you're angry at that. Like, that's amazing. Please tell me that Naruto Goku also has to plan the Unai plan before he fucking wants to release the 10 kill team or whatever. Um, no. Oh, so he's not. So I guess it's Vegeta and like Nadara that has that plan. No, they have no, like, anything in them. They just got, like, a. Goku has a few movesets where he does hand signs when he. Uh, like, one hand sign, two hand sign, and that's about it. While doing fighting style, that's it. No kunai, no nothing other. No shadow clothes? Because that's like a, that's the thing that Naruto spams the hell out of. No, and they did that on purpose because Naruto made a game in. I don't know which one it is, it's on PC, that you can actually make uh, Naruto look like Goku in an outfit. It's not really that good because it's like, it's like Goku pre before um, Dragon Ball Z. He has like the. Um, the power pole and the old, uh, Nimbus. no, and then the old, uh, turtle hermit, uh, jump shoot before he met King Kai. Oh. Why was that not good? Because that's all he has. There's nothing else. It's just an outfit. No interesting oh, side no, 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 nothing of that. At least Goku has a thing where he does a hand side before he does his Kamehameha wave, but he does that's all he has. By that logic, you can actually See, the thing is, I actually like Naruto in crap, and I like uh, BBZ to a degree. And hey, look, victory goes to the team that had all four players be human. Victory for the Carthians. And look, I was the most powerful son on the team. Well, you, the funny thing was, you said that you were going to be the worst person on the team. Um, I guess I kicked more ass than any of them, and I know secrets that they don't know. Well, I think it's because you knew one thing that they didn't, which was, I counter your move with mine. Alright. I'm ending it. That was pretty successful. But you can see how that's an interesting concept in Dragon Ball Z where four on four versus, you know, that's interesting. I'd uh, love to. If it was five on five, you could have the whole Ginyu Force. Oh my fucking god. They actually have a mode where you actually play against all five Ginyu Force members as oh, a mission. Having a gr having 5v5 means that all of you can be Ginyu Force. My mouth would hit the floor if you could actually be like uh, an eight on eight versus in a Dragon Ball Z game in multiplayer. That would be the best. 8v8? <laughs> yeah, 8v8. That'd be cool. I wouldn't care about the graphics. Tomorrow. If it looked like that still and it was an 8 on 8 versus, oh, hell yes. <laughs> hell yes. As long as they can play a crappy Frieza henchman, I am happy. You can actually play a, a Frieza henchman in that game I was just playing. <laughs> oh, man. That was Battle of Z. Yep. We learned a few things that guy from Connecticut didn't understand. Yeah, and probably you'd be way better of him now, just by me telling you stuff, than he and then you ever would be of him. He was only like 89 or 100 and something when he got through the whole game, and I'm 800 and something. I haven't popped my final two achievements, which is to play 500, 500 hours, and the last achievement is popping every other achievement. So. I'll pop those simultaneously. I'll be done with the game completely. Alright. So, yeah. I think this was a successful stream. And hey, I learned my lesson and probably did not say anything that should get you banned. Unless talking about die clone toys will get you banned. And if you, any of you decide to... I'll save this so if any of you decide to use it against comparison to that dude in Connecticut in his Battle of Z playthrough against my playthrough of how to play... Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and that, 
thing is that? Stream over? Yep, stream over. Bye, everybody.